suspended Brady too and we're like fuck you good for another Patriots first <sighs> Pats pals, here we are once again in the Draftomath, where we welcome our newest and sometimes temporariest members of Patriots Nation. Recover from our fleeting bromances with players we were told to love who often end up playing elsewhere. And most importantly, get third grader bumping rails of pixie sticks excited for being that much closer to Patriots football. You know, it was kind of weird only being tuned into two out of three nights of the draft. But then again, it's also probably going to be kind of weird when Goodell gets that package I pinched off and mailed to him. Obviously, the draft got off to a bag of forgotten blue cheese in the backseat of the car. Kind of rotten start when the NFL was like, uh, sorry, you're not welcome to night one, uh, deflate gate. A reality we prepared for for almost like a year, but still it stung like a wet towel whip on the dick. Uh, well, the cool thing is at least the NFL proved with hard evidence, multiple eyewitnesses, and indisputable science that the Patriots did in fact deflate those footballs. Oh wait. Once the Patriots draft got going, they grabbed some great players, stocked up on some depth, and filled some much needed holes. Did you really just say that? All things point to Pats fans loving that Cyrus Jones guy. And so long as that receiver, Malcolm in the Mitchell, doesn't go the Taylor Price, Chad Jackson, Josh Boyce route, Things should be fine. There were a couple of head scratches, and Belichick had us asking, who in the frosted fuck whistle is this guy, at least like three times. Plus, let's be honest, Belichick has had a little bit of a rough run when it comes to drafting backs and receivers. Holy understatement, kid. That's like saying OJ Simpson had some minor marital issues. Well, there is a reason why GM for him means general manager, and for you means ginormous meat whistle. But the real highlight for Pats fans on a weekend where the league did everything they could to take an especially asparagus piss on the Patriots parade was such a falcon surprise. What a falcon delight. A true show of falcon patriotism. Honestly, the best falcon thing I've seen in ages. Kevin Falk, the Brady jersey, the pick. Yes! With the 78th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots and Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, select a huge bag of deep fried dicks for Roger Goodell to eat. Also, some offensive linemen. That legitimately gave me gridiron goosebumps. All the Foxborough feels as anti-deflating as it gets. Plus, people forget, before Deion Lewis was the new Shane Vereen, who was the new Danny Woodhead, there was this other guy who wore number 33, who was a pretty fucking good third down back, you know what I mean? I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure someone just stamp sealed and delivered their induction into the Patriots Hall of Fame. Uh, worth fucking noting, Belichick was able to pull off a trade so as to reacquire the fourth round draft pick that the NFL took from the Pats in 2017. So suck it with sauerkraut and sour cream, get out. From Chi Town to Situate, Draft Town to Duxbury, we are as excited as ever for a Patriots team that grabbed some great players and added them to a great team that was like one or two plays away from ultimate greatness last season. Oh, and had a pretty boss offseason, by the fucking way. Uh. And if Goodell and his micro penis minions think that their little court victory means that Patriots Nation is just gonna pack it up and take it like he often does on the chin, oh, 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 buddy. I think Commissioner McFuckface has forgotten that defiance is more than just a birthright for New Englanders. It's an art form and a total delight. We love it. If you thought we were mouthy before, brother, just you wait. The Kraken of insufferability has been released. Uh, Godspeed to football's chief executive, Ginger Head Jizzbrain. Potential TV reference that could be a spoiler alert. If Jon Snow can rise from his grave, Tom Brady can be freed again. Uh. Don't forget, for the hottest of hot takes and all the inappropriate finalysis and New England sports talk you can handle, I'm everywhere. Twitter, the snap face, the my book, you got it. At Fitzy GFY. Okay, Pats peoples, until we meet again, this is your old pal Fitzy of townynews.com saying, Free Brady again! Second verse, angrier than the first. And Goodell, you're the worst. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>